Welcome back to World Drum Club. I'm Kalani, and this lesson is about the pandeiro, or pandeiro. Uh, pandeiro is a Brazilian tambourine, and this one has a single row of jingles. Well, they all have single row of jingles. The jingles on the pandeiro are a little bit different than the regular tambourines we're used to. They're a little bit more like little hi-hats, or little convex, and they're facing one another. There's pairs of them. Sometimes there's even a little piece of metal in between the two uh, jingles, so there'd be three pieces of metal. It's a much drier jingle sound than your typical tambourine. And it's got a head, of course, and we'll be holding it like this. So if you have a Pandero, whenever you guys get one, hold it like this. And if for now, if you want to uh, support the, the weight of the drum with a finger, I'll show you my index finger. I'm not going to show you any other fingers right now, but you can use any fingers you want, including all of them to support the weight while you practice the hand technique, I won't tell anyone, all right? So how's that for a deal? Okay, so for now, just hold the Pandera or any tambourine. You can practice on any tambourine or a small drum um, because the most important thing is the technique we're gonna use in our playing hand. And I'm playing this left-handed. I just wanted to be clear about that so you guys don't copy me exactly. I play some instruments right-handed, I play some left-handed, but I play the Pandero left-handed because we have to use uh, finger techniques as opposed to just like a striking technique. So there's three primary sounds that you're gonna use on the Pandero. And there are more, but there's three main sounds. So let's just start with those. We've got a thumb sound, which you're gonna strike the drum with your thumb extended, making an L. Strike the drum with the side of your thumb, not the tip of your thumb, but your the whole side of your thumb. And you're gonna do that uh, with kind of a, a downward blow into the head to get that head to vibrate. You want it to be resonant. So the whole side of the thumb like this. I kind of use a whipping motion, just relaxed. Throw your, thrum, throw your thumb into the head. So once you've got that, then you're gonna practice fingers and heel. Fingers and, and your, your wrist, palm, wrist area. So those of you who have learned congas with the heel toe technique, pretty much the same thing. All right, so you're gonna, then you're gonna combine those and you're gonna play thumb, fingers, heel, fingers. In that order, one, two, three, four, over and over. That's your main riding pattern or your main sort of um, yeah, riding riff motion. Thumb, tips, heel, tips. And I want to point out that I'm muting and unmuting the head. So you can press the head and you can lift off the head. So here's what that sounds like. Here's muted. And here's open. So the next step after you've got this is to mute every other one, starting with a mute. One, two, one, two. Oops. If you make a mistake, just smile. Okay, so what that emulates is the surdu or the bass drum. Ba, tup, doom, ba, doom, short, long, short, long. And in the samba, you know, which is a two feel, back and forth, right? One, two, one, two, one, two. Short, long, short, long, short, long. So the pendero is pretty cool because you've got the, the surdo, short, long, short, long. You've got this, all this, which is kind of like the shakers and the other instruments. Some, you know, they use um, the large uh, uh, tambourine jingle shakers and all kinds of other things that can happen in the samba band. 
you've got a lot of that in this one instrument, which is pretty awesome. So once you've got that, the last step maybe to finish it out is just to tip into the fingers when you play it. So that's just a twisting motion and let's call it tip into the fingers. So tip in to the fingers. Okay, that's as far as I'm gonna take you guys. I'm not, you know, the expert at Pandero. I'm an okay Pandero player, uh, intermediate level probably at best. But I wanted to get you guys started, introduce you to the instrument and introduce the instrument to you. Hello, Pandero. Um, what you guys can do from here is just go search and find lots of other videos and people playing the Pandero. Um, some of them <laughs> might be a little confusing because those guys get going really fast and complicated and it's awesome, but for you beginners uh, or teachers that want to teach your students, uh, this was a great place to start. So again, we learned about the thumb, closed and open, and that's just by muting and unmuting the head inside the head like that. And um, then the fingertips and heel, and then combining those, and then changing the sound of the drum. And you start with the muted one, right? So the first beat is short, then tipping into the fingers. All right? And then from there, just try to work it up. And then you can start playing around with accents and other things. All right, you guys. Hey, I really appreciate you guys being World Club, World Drum Club uh, supporters and members. Please remember to like. Like it, like it, like it, like it. I don't know where the like it button is. It's over here somewhere. Um, like the channel, subscribe to the channel, tell your friends about it. Um, I hope you guys appreciate all the time and effort and work that goes into making these videos. I really love to support you guys and make these things. Um, you can show your support by spending about as much as you would spend on a fancy cup of coffee per month for being a World Drum Club member. So I hope you decide to do that. That's the way we keep this channel going. Thanks for watching. Thanks for being interested in world drumming. Uh, I'm Kalani and uh, wishing you happy music making. Go out and make some great music.